using the AFCO method with each receipt of goods as when you buy goods the average cost of each item is recalculated further issues of goods are then at that figure until another receipt of good means that another recalculation is made. But so basically what this is telling you is that after any time you buy goods the average course would change why it would change because you are using the formula that we had here total cost of items divided by the number of items right anytime you buy items your total cost will increase right and also the number of items in stock will increase so your average cost will change okay and to change only when you buy it so we have a slightly different table we still have the receipt and the issued here but we have a column now for average cost and we have a column now for number of inventory and when we multiply the average cost by the number in inventory we'll get this which is equal to the same thing as the value of the inventory divided by the number of inventory will give you the average cost right so anyhow you want to work it to get the um, the figures in right but you must remember the formula the total cost divided by the <coughs> number of items that they have in you in on January we buy 10 at 30 so our average cost would be our total cost would be 300 and we divide it by the number in units 10 we'll get the average cost of 30 all right April we buy another 10 at 34 that's 340 and uh, this 300 here gives us a total of 640 so we have um, 20 units we divide the 640 by 20 and we get 32 dollars per unit okay there is the average cost so you only have need to have one line not three and two and three and sometimes four lines like in the uh, in in this method here right may we issued some now we are going to issue it at average cost so it's going to be eight at the average cost of 32 that you have here right and you remain eight by 32 minus from the 640 we will get 384 or we can do it another way from the 20 we minus eight and we get 12 12 by the average cost from here comes here and you get 32 12 by 32 is 384 okay so whatever you whenever you're doing it make sure these three column balances they fit into the formula all right october we have 20 being bought at forty dollars right 20 at 40 is 800 we add our 800 to our balance here and we get 1184 now we have 20 that we buy here and the 12 here given us 32 in inventory so we divide 1184 by 32 and we will get 37 dollars as the average cost in november when we issue the 24 at 37 it would be at this 37 here that is the last time we come with the average cost and uh, we will have 32 minus 24 eight in stock eight by a uh, average cost of 37 with 296 so what you will notice here this is the 
value of the eight units remaining in um, inventory using Avco at the end of, right? This is a mistake here. That should be November, right? Therefore, two ninety six. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir. This table has come through opening exam already, or we have to memorize it and draw it up. Usually they give you the table, but they don't have to, right? They give you the table and you fill it in. But the table need not necessarily um, look like this, and it may not have headings. You have to put in the headings. Okay? Yes, sir. Right? So, in a way, you have to memorize the table, right? But they will have similar things to this. Like I said, here could have purchases. You could have seals, uh, instead of number of units, you could have balance here, right? Have total cost here, and you could have average cost here, right? So things could be slightly different because there's no um, set rule for doing this. Businesses could do make their records however they want to make it once they are following the standards, okay? So 